Well, good morning again, church. I enjoy these opportunities that I have to read Psalms with that church, and I thank you for joining along with me. We're reading today Psalm 27. Okay, I'm going to start Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though the war break out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple, for in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwellings. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle, and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me, at his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my Lord when I call. Hear my voice oh, when I call, O oh Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart, and wait for the Lord. So, reading of Psalm 27. Now, if y'all would pray with me, please. Boy, it's such a powerful psalm from David, Lord. Uh, see the confidence he has to, to know, Lord Jesus, what we have in you, how you strengthen us, that we can fall on our knees and be in your presence, in your temple, in your house, whenever we need to, Lord. And Father, when we struggle and we finds ourselves in the midst of sin, Lord, in the midst of transgressions that want to defeat us. Father, you're not angry with us. You just want us to repent, to experience your love, and to see how much you care for us, Lord, how much confidence we have in you. Not my confidence, Lord, but what you've given us, the righteousness, the grace and mercy that you pour out on us to go from day to day. And his land says, I'm and David says, I just ask for the, as long as I live, I can just be in your presence. Boy, Lord Jesus, what a, a statement that we can claim to. Just being strong and faithful and before you, Father, you just never let us be defeated and wiped out, Lord. Even though our enemies, our sin is constantly around us, Lord Jesus, we stand victorious in what we have in you and we remember what you've done in our lives and what you've done to the Holy Spirit you've given us. Lord Jesus, I just thank you again for our church body. As we stand before you, we can just see how great you are and how frail we are, Lord. Father, just let us stand in your presence in your temple every day that we breathe, Lord. In Jesus' most holy name, Father, amen.